Thank you. For, uh, thank you for pronouncing my name correctly as well. <laughs> Has just a couple of fewer letters. My pleasure to be here, uh, to be uh, um, able to speak in this beautiful city at this great uh, Congress today. Uh, these are the disclosures. Uh, the most important disclosures, as Dr. Hurst mentioned, uh, Auxilium uh, did help sponsor and support the research and did support the research for this as well. Uh, collagenase Clostridium histolyticum is an FDA-approved non-surgical treatment for Dupuytren contracture. And treatment with collagenase involves injection of the drug, which lyses collagen into the cord, and that's followed traditionally by a manipulation or finger extension procedure 24 hours later. That 24-hour time frame between injection and manipulation uh, may not be convenient for patient and physician, so this study is a subset of a larger study which looks at delaying uh, manipulation past 24 hours. Uh, all the patients had two concurrent collagenase injections to treat two joints in the same hand. This is a large multi-center worldwide study. All patients had two or more contractures of at least 20 degrees. Uh, there were 714 subjects analyzed for efficacy and safety. Uh, 724 joint pairs treatment. Uh, all patients had two full injections of 0 0.58 milligrams, two separate vials mixed into the cords of two affected joints in the same hand during one visit. And the finger extension procedure was performed 24, 48, or 72 hours or later. Outcomes were looked at at 31 days. Uh, this is the fixed flexion contracture at the baseline and follow-up. And there was a similar response with regards to improvement of fixed flexion contracture, regardless of whether it was manipulated at 24, 48, or 72 hours. Uh, for total joints, 75%, 75%, and 73% uh, for the three periods. For MP, 84, 81, and 84%. And for PIPs, 64%, 66%, and 60% improvement of fixed flexion contracture. Uh, range of motion was also improved similarly with no change in, in uh, efficacy based on the manipulation. About 68% for total joint, 36% for MP, and about 30% for PIP. Clinical efficacy defined as correction five degrees or less uh, was 65% uh, for MPs and 29% for PIPs. And again, there was no difference in the efficacy uh, regardless of the time of manipulation. Uh, these are the common uh, treatment adverse events, uh, similar to the Quad 1 and Quad 2 study. Uh, of note was that the laceration rate was higher uh, than in the Quad 1 and Quad 2 study with a lower uh, laceration rate at 72 hours. So a little extra time maybe helps it calm down a little bit. Uh, there were no deaths. Uh, this is a multi-cord case. A uh, 64-year-old man with a 20-year uh, 20 history of Dupuytren contracture, uh, no ectopic disease, no prior treatment, complains of increased difficulty shaking hands. His contracture, the ring finger MP, 40 degrees, ring finger PIP, 15 degrees, and little finger MP, 50 degrees. This is what he looked like at the baseline. Uh, two injections given between the distal palm crease and proximal finger crease. Flexion creases were avoided. Try to find an area where it's, the skin is not tethered over the cord. Typical side effects you'll see after collagenase injection, pain, swelling, ecchymosis. And after manipulation, this is the efficacy at day, th at, uh, this was actually day 61, uh, ring finger at MP, MPIP zero degrees, little finger MP five degrees. And excellent range of motion without any therapy. In conclusion, concurrent injections of collagenase in the same hand reduced contractures and increased range of motion, and the safety profile was consistent with previous studies. Skin lacerations were more frequent, and there was one anaphylactic reaction. 
Timing of the finger extension procedure did not influence the clinical response in terms of efficacy or safety, and the rate of lacerations was lower at 72 hours compared to 24 and 48 hours. Uh, we feel that the ability to vary the time for manipulation after injection allows for greater flexibility for both patient and for physician. Thank you.